Hi, this is Rick Snyder with the OC Blues News in the Orange County Blues Society, and I'm here with Rip Cat recording artist John Clifton, the best harmonica player you've never heard of, according to some, but we're going to change all of that. He's here with us at the New Blues Festival number four in beautiful El Dorado Park in sunny Long Beach, enjoying the day. John, what a great thing to see you. Thank you. Great, I see, great, great to see you too. Uh, you know, when I spotted your uh, videos on the internet, I saw you were playing with Scott. Yep. That's awesome. Yep. So do you have a regular band that you play with? I see Scott is part of yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, I have a regular band, uh, a couple of guys from Fresno, and Matt Moulton and Roman Rivera. and. Uh, um, you know, we, we travel together and we record together and play it together and everything, you know, we, we have a, a unit, so, yeah. And you guys do, according to the, according to your information, you play a hundred, at least 150 gigs a year. Sometimes, you know, sometimes, sometimes not so many and, you know, but yeah, we play a hundred at least, you know, and, and uh, you know, 100, 120, 150. Okay. You know, we you're, play a lot. You're a busy guy now. Is that across the United States? Does all over the your, world. All over the yeah, world. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so where's the coolest place you've ever played? Um, Not temperature-wise, but right, right, wise. right. Um, I'd have to say Fiji. Really? Fiji is, was really cool. You know, it was a really neat place. I played there two festivals there, um, and I really like going to Poland. Poland is real nice, and uh, you know, I played a lot of cool places. I played the, you know. Croatia and Netherlands and Belgium and you know and, and then uh, um, you know so yeah yeah you know and a lot in the Midwest and you know Florida <laughs> if you had to pick a place that you thought was more, the most invested in blues music would it be the States would it be Europe you know um, you know the states are the United States is a pretty big place, so there are places in the United States where you know it, it, it's 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 more popular than others, and it's the same as Europe. You know there are places in Europe where it's more popular than others. You know, um, so you know it, it's pretty equal. I think uh, you know sometimes the European audiences tend to be a little more excited and a little more animated, and I notice there's a lot more younger people in in the European audience that dig the old music. You know. Um, you know, here it's, we're getting a little bit, the crowd's getting a little bit older, we're all getting a little older and all the people that really used to like it are, you know, they're not coming out as often as they used to and, and, uh, but, you know, over there there's a lot of younger people, there's a lot of people in their 20s that are, that really like it and, you know, so, that's the major difference I see, you know, you know, they re react a little differently over there, they're a little more exciting, you know, but excited, but, you know, it, it's, it's, there are places in the U.S. though where it's it's very popular, you know. So today, are you concerned that a gaggle of young women is going to rush the stage and? You know, I'm used to that. It happens to me everywhere I go. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the beautiful thing about being oh, yeah. a musician, that's isn't right. it? That's right. You know, especially being a blues musician, you know. But yeah. So why the blues? Uh, I just like it, you know. I just like the music. I always have, you know. I've always, you know, I like a lot of different things too, you know. But I always, you know, I always liked, um, um, you know, growing up, I, I liked, you know, country music, rockabilly, rhythm and blues, you know, stuff like that, and uh, you know, Fats Domino and and uh, uh, you know, Little Richard and Elvis, of course, you know, and. And then when I started blowing the harmonica a little bit, fooling around with the harmonica, and I was a teenager, you know, I started really discovering Little Walter and and uh, you know Muddy Waters and and uh, you know you know you know the story, you know. It's, sure. I think everybody kind of follows the same path, you know. Uh, I never was big on the on the, you know when I was younger, I never was real big on the modern rock and roll, you know. I I, I come to. Uh, um, I come to like it a little more as I get older and, and mellow out a little bit, I think, you know. I, but when I was younger, you know, I liked, you know, to me, I, I liked, you know, you know, I, I really liked, you know, Elvis and, you know, Fats Domino and Little Richard and Chuck Berry and, and country music, you know, and Hank Williams, you know, and, and I liked, and, and when my friends were, you know, they, they pop out some, you know, stoner music, Rush or Kiss. Well, my stoner <laughs> music was Waylon Jennings, you know, so. <laughs> you know, these well, guys had he, long hair. When yeah, I was 14, right, I, when I was 14, my brother gave me this record of Waylon Jennings. He had long hair and a beard and he, you know. Right. And uh, so, you know, I, I mean, so I've always been a little bit off the beaten, beaten path and that, that's always what I, you know, I always liked 
you know. Waylon that, was actually the uh, guitar player on the uh, Buddy yeah, Holly. Tour yes, when yes. He died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's got yeah, some, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah you know, Buddy Holly loves Buddy Holly. Music is music. There's yeah, really, there's yeah, really only two yeah, kinds. There's yeah. good music. There's bad music. Right, Everything right. else is just music. Yeah, yeah. So, so was there a moment in your life when you got that aha, that light bulb that went on that said, "This is what yeah. I want to do"? No, I, I think that I think when I uh, when I when I left my mom's womb, I think that was. <laughs> <laughs> I've always been kind of a ham a little bit, and I always, you know, I always liked music. I always liked to sing. I always liked to, you know, you know, do things. You know, do perform a little bit, you know, and it was always a little bit of a ham. So I've always wanted to be a musician and be a performer, you know. You've and got uh, great stage presence. Thank you, thank you. Great thank stage you. presence. I yeah. look forward to seeing you Thank today. you, thank you. Yeah, I look forward to doing it, you know. Where and, can people find your music? Uh, you can find it, uh, all the download sites like iTunes, um, you know, um, you have Napster, a all of them. I have a website, www.johnclifftonmusic.com. You can get it at ripcatrecords.com, okay. Amazon, you know. Um, so, yeah, there's there's a lot of different places where you can get it. You know? And will they find your schedule on Facebook and your website? And my, website my website is the best place to find the schedule, johncliftonmusic.com. Okay. I tried to get johnclifton.com, but they wanted to charge me three thousand dollars for it. So what? I got John Clifton Music for nine ninety nine dollars and ninety five cents. So. Okay, it sounds like a better <laughs> deal, and it'll bring people there. Yeah, yeah. Johncliftonmusic.com. My schedule is updated. I, I do it myself, so I'm a do it yourselfer kind of guy. Okay. So I do it myself, and um, and uh, so it's always always up to date. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. Well, thank you so very Thanks much lot, for man. taking the time you. to talk to us. Thank you. I, I really appreciate, appreciate you it. Taking the effort to talk to me and uh, John so. Clifton at the New Blues Festival Four, and we're looking forward to Great. your performance. Thank you. Thank you very much.